Namaste. Thanks for joining me. So Namaste is a saying hello in India. I thought it might be appropriate to say Namaste today because our topic is on a god, a very well-known god in India. So those who are Indians would very well know of Lord Shiva, but those that are not, but are also part of the yoga community would might also know about Lord Shiva. So I'm not going to get into details of uh, talking about Lord Shiva. And I do plan to do more videos on Shiva. But for today's video, it's something that I thought was really, really interesting and profound. So I thought I'll share that with you today in a short video. Hopefully it doesn't get too long as, as my as my videos uh, tend to do when I get carried away and in the flow of, of chatting away. So the, this definition of Shiva is by Shushan Singh Rajput. So I talk about him a fair bit uh, on my channel and he's, a, he's an actor that was, was actually murdered uh, and a lot of us around the world are fighting for justice for him. So what I'm also doing as, as part of being part of the movement and being very actively supporting the movement of being with truth and justice for Shushan and many others that have been murdered is to talk about the wisdom that he shared. So he had amazing qualities and there's great wisdom um, that he shared when he was alive. So I wanna keep that going and share that as well. So. Shushan once defined Shiva as this, and I'm gonna quote, I think Shiva is actually, if you have love in your heart, if you have the will to serve people, and you have the strength and courage to put others before yourselves, I think you have Shiva in you. What a wise definition of Shiva from a really wise uh, soul that, that he is. I've never heard of that definition. And I, when, I, when I read it, I mean, when I saw the interview on him talking about it, I thought, my God, that is amazing. I've never heard it defined like that, but it's just a really beautiful, deep definition of Shiva. So I thought I'll share that with you today. And also that he himself, I believe had a lot of, was a good example of someone with shiver. We all have shiver within us. So you could call it shiver, you could call it divine, you could call it the higher power, you could call it the soul. It's, it's the, you know, the great consciousness. So he showed a lot of that because he was very selfless. He was very selfless. He was very giving. He was always helping people. Okay, so again, I'm going to talk about him in a lot of other videos dedicated to him. But for today's topic, it's about defining Shiva as that love within yourself. The part of us that's pure, that is, you know, pure soul that is selfless. You know, when we are being selfless, you know, we are being generous and kind and loving. We displaying qualities of Shiva. So I believe, you know, my personal belief is that God is, God is within us. You don't have to believe that, that's fine. But I thought I'll share this really beautiful definition of Shiva that Shushan shared. And I completely agree with it. And I think that's just really beautiful. And if all of us around the world truly understood this meaning of Shiva and also that Shiva is within us, imagine the state of the world if everyone felt this way. Okay, we won't have violence, we won't be greedy, we won't be hurting others, would we? It'll be a lot peaceful and loving place. So I just, I think if we all just, you know, practice and understand this wisdom of what is really Shiva, I think it's life-changing and I think it's, it can change the world for the better. So again, it is that love, it is that kind part of us, the pure part of us. And every one of us, I believe, have a sh have shiver within them. It is the mind or the ego that gets in the way. 
So if your mind is completely or you go, your ego is completely out of control, you're going to lose that connection with the soul, which is, you know, with, which is the shiver. Okay. So the more we meditate, the more we reflect, the more we evolve, I believe we get closer to our, you know, the real self, the soul self. And a lot of the shiver would naturally, you know, naturally will be showing shiver, which is showing love, compassion, empathy, kindness towards other people and being joyful. Okay, so on that note, on a beautiful definition of shiver, I'll end the video and I will share more wisdom on Lord Shiva. So I, as I said, I'm quite, I'm spiritual, I'm not religious. And in Hindu, uh, Hinduism, there's are many, many, many gods. So I truly believe in, you know, there's one uh, great power. And personally, for me, I've grown up with Lord Shiva. Um, so uh, for me, I'm close to Lord Shiva because he's a god of meditation. Um, I, I, I'll talk about him more in other videos, why I, you know, I quite, uh, why I deeply feel connection with Lord Shiva as opposed to, believing in many, many gods. Okay, so for the purpose of the video, just wanted to share this amazing definition. Thanks to Shushant. Um, I want to pass this really beautiful definition to all of you guys. Okay, so if only we just, if we can just practice this within us, uh, it's, it's, you know, it can only bring good. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.